Why does the sun burn us? Short answer, the sun sends a few different kinds of energy to Earth. There is infrared radiation, which is heat. There is visible light, which is what our eyes can see. There is also ultraviolet light. We can't see ultraviolet with our eyes, but it can burn our skin. The sun keeps our planet warm enough for living things to thrive. It gives us light so that we can see. It also burns us. What causes these burns? All about energy. The sun sends lots of energy towards us all the time. There are a few different kinds of energy. There's infrared radiation, which is heat. There's visible light, which is what our eyes can see. There's also ultraviolet light. We can't see ultraviolet with our eyes, but it's there, and it can burn our skin. Waves, waves, waves. Infrared radiation, visible light, and ultraviolet light are all types of waves in the electromagnetic spectrum. They're all energy, but these energy waves aren't all the same. Some have more energy than others. Infrared waves have less energy than visible light waves. Infrared waves are longer with more space between each high and low. Ultraviolet waves have more energy than visible light does. It's this energy that can't hurt us, that can hurt us. Feel the burn. If too much ultraviolet light hits our skin, over time it can hurt our skin cells. The cells can die, our bodies react, the skin gets red, and it can hurt a lot. Ultraviolet light comes from the sun, but it can also bounce off the other surfaces like water, snow, and concrete. That means you can, even if you're under an umbrella, you can get, still get a sunburn. Ultraviolet light can also go through clouds, so you can get burned on an overcast day. No fair. You can protect your skin by doing things that keep ultraviolet waves from reaching you. Clothing and hats are a great way to keep away those waves. Sunblock contains chemicals that reflect our or absorb the ultraviolet light, leaving your skin sunburn free. That way you can enjoy the other energy from the sun, visible light and infrared warmth.